hey guys welcome back to my channel and we will continue with our flutter series so in this video we will see how to install flutter in mac os so let's get started so first in order to install flutter we need to go to the flutter official website flutter.dev and in this website we will go to get we'll click on get started so here we can select which type of os we are using so for us we will select mac os and then it gives us the minimum requirement of the device so 2.8 gb is required and then if you are using a mac apple silicon or mac m1 or m2 you will use rosetta in order to install all the things so for for those people who are using apple with mac chip uh, or a m1 chip so use you have to run this command in order to install rosetta okay so for me what we i have to do is i have to click on flutter mac os 3.3.10 stable.zip and i will download it so once the download is complete i have the file here so it is in the download so i have this file so i will double click on it and it will unzip it and put it in a folder great so we have the folder so what i will do is i will keep it in documents for better understanding so i will keep it in the document folder now if you see if i go to terminal and then i write flutter doctor nothing will happen because it will say that flutter command is not found so for then what we have to do is we have to again go back to our website and then we will go to flutter.dev get started and then we will see that here it says that we need to add the path of the flutter in our uh, through the terminal but the first uh, line that we have here it only says the path for the current terminal window only so every time you restart your computer you have to again run the same command in order to make it a, a permanent thing we have to add it in the dot zhrc file or dot bash rc file it depends on your mac so basically what happens is that we will copy this line export path and then we will go to the terminal and see which type of uh, which type of terminal we have it will be written here Z zhs or it will be written bash bash so since it is zhs we will now create go to the dot zhrc file so if you go to your finder and then click on go you will see there is a home path once you go there you will be able to only see these files but in order to highlight the hidden file you have to click on command shift and dot so once you do that you will see all the hidden files there you will also see this dot zhrc file if it is not here you can go to you can just simply open your terminal check whether you are in the current library or the current so if you see desktop downloads folder are here itself so you are at home so you will just write touch dot z s h r c and then press enter it will create a new file for you then you can just do it manually by clicking on this file and then it will open the notepad and you will paste the file name file here so but you see it is only say path to flutter right but we don't know which what is the path so basically what you can do is go to document go to the flutter folder then i will just unhide all those things and clean up by date modified and then i will see bin now what i will do is i will just take this bin here and then put it inside the uh, lines so here you see i got the path i will cut it from here and paste it here and then i will save it simple so once i have done that i will just close the terminal and reopen it 
and then what I will do is I will just run flutter doctor and if you see now it will automatically get the doc get the uh, flutter path from the dot zhrc file and then it will run the flutter pub get uh, command so if you have install if you are installing it for the first time and you don't have you have not given access to your uh, document folder it will give you a pop up which will say give access to the uh, flutter or the document folder so now you see I have everything installed and then I have some errors so it says Android toolchain is missing and then I have also and some uh, so if you see the connected phones are not valid right so we will fix it so you may get an error that cocoa pod is not installed right so if you get that error what you will do is you will go to cocoa pod and then you will go to the website and then you will just run this command in your terminal and it will install cocoa pods in your system once we have done this let's create a project so let's open android studio so before this video what i did is i installed android studio and xcode and i have not opened it after that so if you see uh, you will not have in Android Studio once you first install you will not have this new flutter project thing so in order to get that you have to click on plugin and then you have to write flutter and then you will see the extension of flutter here and then you have to install it from this part when you are installing flutter it will automatically ask you to install dart so once you have done that you will click on new project then it will say which uh, so it will open up this menu then you have to select flutter and then it will automatically take the path so then next and then i will give the project name as to do and then i will give the organization name as com dot you um, com dot test com dot to do dot to do and then I will just check all the platforms okay and then I will click on finish so this will create a project so once the project is created it will open up the termin uh, it will open up the Android studio okay so no thanks okay I cannot do it now sounds good let's say okay I cannot do anything now so let's wait for the indexing to complete okay it is downloading all the required things okay apply code style sounds good okay let's wait for a few minutes So what we'll do is we will create an emulator and then we will run the app to check everything is working correctly. Okay, so now that we have uh, the process is complete, it says no connected device found, please connect your device okay i don't have a device so i will click on device manager and it will have so it automatically has a pixel 3a so i will just run it and it will start the avd we have to give access to microphone So it will run the emulator inside the Android Studio itself.
okay looks good so it's taking so much time here it has been almost 10 minutes so it is not running uh, with android studio so let's do one thing let's disconnect and then close this what we'll do is we will also set up android studio so we'll open uh, sorry we'll open with vs code so we'll open vs code and we'll open the folder we'll go to documents uh, it is not in the documents it is in studio project so we'll open to do so inside this i will have to trust yes i trust Mm -hmm. let's leave this okay so go to main.dart now before we start with xvs code we'll have to install flutter so okay it's already installed okay that's fine so we will open the main.dart file and then okay let me make it smaller let me take up the half of the screen okay so yeah fine okay so i will press f5 now or function f5 so it should run with this let's see start debugging okay it is activating all the extensions so let's wait for a few minutes So let's open simulator. Okay, not there. Let's do one thing. Let's click on this. Let's wrap, take this and open with uh, Android Studio. No. So this is Xcode workspace. So we'll open it with, open this with Xcode. So we'll just keep it out here. Xcode, I will put it here in my uh, bottom bar okay so I got a um, pop up there yeah now it's working so it says that start a simulator or use a pixel app pixel emulator so I will start a simulator yeah we have the simulator here okay so our app is running we also have the dev tools open okay sounds good looks good okay so yeah we have installed the flutter we have installed flutter successfully and our app is running so this was it for this video and i will see you guys in the next one